Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about the heap sort algorithm. Now if you haven't watched my previous video about the heap data structure, I'm going to give you a quick summary. So basically a heap is a tree-like structure in which the parents are always greater than its children. So this means that the largest element is going to be at the top of the heap, which is called the root. And it also means that as you go down in the heap, the elements get smaller and smaller. And we can actually use these properties of the heap to construct an efficient sorting algorithm called heap sort. So this is what this array looks like when I display it in a heap. And now how do we actually use these properties to sort the array? Well, First of all, we know that the root has the biggest element. So we're actually going to remove the element of the root. I'm going to delete this and we're going to exchange it with the last element of the heap, which in this case is going to be two. OK, now this obviously disrupts the characteristics of a heap because the root no longer has the greater element. And so we're actually going to have to apply here an algorithm called heapify. And what this does is it takes a note it compares it with its children and if it has larger children it will choose the child which is the largest and exchange it with the node itself so we're actually going to pick here 16 and we're going to change this with 2 so 16 goes here and 2 goes here now does 2 still have larger children well yes so we're going to have to apply heapify one more time right this is a recursive algorithm so we're going to choose the largest child that's going to be 15 so we're going to exchange those two. Two is going to go here and 15 is going to go here. And now we are back to having a heap, right? The largest element is at the root. And as we go down, the children get smaller and smaller. So we're going to reapply this algorithm. We're going to remove 16 here from the heap and we're going to exchange it with the last element, which is 10. And now we need to apply heap of five. So we're actually going to exchange 15 and 10 because 15 is the largest child. So we're going to have here 15 and 10. Does 10 still have a largest child? Yes, it does. 11 is larger than 10. So we're going to put 11 here and we're going to put 10 here. So now we have a heap again and we have the largest element at the root. Then we're going to do the same thing for 15, right? Then we're going to go to 12, then we're going to go to 11, then 10. 7, 6, and 2, and there we have it, our sorted array. So that is the heap sort algorithm. It's actually pretty simple. Now let's talk about its time complexity. So heapify is going to have a time complexity of log of n. Why? Well, that's because in order to put an element in its correct position, we're going to have to apply this algorithm to basically a branch of the heap, right? To an arm of the heap. And so this is going to have a complexity of log of n. And then for the actual heap sort algorithm, we're going to apply this n times. So in the end, we have a time complexity of O of n log of n for all cases, right? Worst, best, and average cases. And that is the heap sort algorithm. Now let's actually get into the code. All right, so let's get into the code for the heap sort algorithm. First, let me just summarize what we implemented in the last video. So we have here heapify that's going to take in the array, its size, and the index, which we're going to heapify. Then basically what this is going to do is it's going to choose the largest child and then it's going to exchange that node with that child. Then we're going to apply heapify again in a recursive manner. Then we have build heap. This is basically going to turn our array into a heap data structure and we're basically just going to apply heapify a bunch of times. OK, so now for the actual heap sort algorithm, this is actually pretty easy. It doesn't take a lot of lines of code. First, we need a temporary variable for the exchanges. Then we need to apply build heap here to our array and to the heap size, which is actually just the length of the array. So now that our array is a heap, I'm going to say for int i, and this is going to start out at heap size minus one. I is greater than minus one and i minus minus. I'm going to explain this uh, in just a moment. And here we're going to exchange. So I'm going to say temp equals a zero. Then a0 is going to be ai, and then ai is going to be the temp, like so. So we've exchanged. So what is this doing? 
Well, essentially, this is starting out at heap size minus one, and it is decreasing. So we're basically starting at the last element of the array, and we're moving to the beginning of the array. Then we are exchanging the root with that element. So the root is always going to be at the index zero. This is a rule. And we're basically exchanging the last element of the heap with the root, like I explained in uh, introduction. So now what we need to do is apply here heap of five with the same array, then i, and then zero. So this is going to take in the array. This is the new size of the heap, right? Because we're starting at heap size minus one, then we're going to go to heap size minus two, heap size minus three, and so on. And so i is actually going to contain the new size of the heap. And then zero is the root, right? So we're actually applying heapify to the root itself, which like I said, is always at the position zero. And this is actually all we need here for our heap sort algorithm. I'm going to actually apply this right here with uh, the array A and the heap size like so. And let's see if this works. Let me pull this up. I'm going to run this code. And as you can see, our array is now sorted. So that is the code for the heap sort algorithm. Now, I hope this video was clear. If it was valuable to you, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.